everybody. Thanks for joining me today for fairy tale science. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna do a few different science experiments that we're going to connect to some of our favorite fairy tales. All right, so we're just going to wait a second for people to come on. Okay, I hope everybody is doing well today, enjoying the day. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to join me for these programs. Uh, can't wait till we can do programs in person again, but I'm very glad to give you a little something to enjoy while we wait for that day. Huh? All right, so we're going to do three different experiments today. Huh? And one is just going to be a simple uh, sink or float test. Another is going to be a fairy potion. Okay. And the third is going to be a shellless Humpty Dumpty. Okay. Um, so what we're going to need for our activities today is for the sink or float, you'll need some water and you'll need some various things to test, to see if they sink or float. Okay, I've got some stuff like a balloon, a spoon, a marble, anything you're okay with getting a little wet. Right. If you're just joining us, we are here for fairy tale science. Thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, we're gonna do three different science activities. So the first one's going to be a sink or float activity. The second one is going to be a fairy potion. For our fairy potion, you're going to need food coloring or powder paint. You're going to need vinegar. Baking soda. And of course, everybody's favorite, glitter. Okay, so we can't have a fairy potion without a little bit of sparkle. Okay? And our final activity is going to be what I'm calling a shellless Humpty Dumpty egg. Okay? And I will show that to you as we, as we get around to that. But all you'll need for that one is an egg, just a plain old raw egg and some vinegar okay so if, if you're just joining us we're just going to get ready to do our sink or float which is our first science experiment okay i've got my tub of water here okay and i've got my objects to test to see if they sink or float okay first object is a balloon. Do you guys think this is going to sink or is it going to float? You can type it in the chat. Let me know what you think before we get started. All right, will our balloon sink or will it float? All right, let's see. You ready? It floated. Okay. Does that kind of make sense because the air and the balloon is very light. Okay. All right. Let's try something else. Let's try a marble. Do you think this is going to sink or is it going to float? All right. I said, feel free to type what you think with what your guess is in the chat. Okay. All right. Let's try it. what happened. It sank, right? So marble's heavier. It has more matter in a smaller uh, space, okay? It's which is called dense. It's more dense than the balloon is. Okay? To kind of show you that, we're going to try a little piece of aluminum foil. Okay. Do you think this is going to sink 
or is it going to float? Let's try. Alright, it's floating. Okay, but what if I take the same piece of aluminum foil and crush it up into a tiny itty bitty little ball? What do you think? Is it going to sink or is it going to float? Let's try. And it still floats. But I bet if you added more aluminum foil, okay, or squished it even smaller, it might sink. See, it's not floating quite as well now. Okay, we put all the matter into a smaller space and we made it more dense. Okay. All right. Next object, let's try. What about this cup? Is it going to sink, or is it going to float? Let's, try. Let's try. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what happens. It started out floating, but as the water got inside of it, it sank. Okay. The water added more weight inside the cup, okay. made it heavier, and so. item is the spoon. Is it going to sink or is it going to float? Let's try it. And it sinks for the most part. All right. The handle is a little wider than the metal. So that part might go down as well, but it sank. Huh? Next one. I've got some toothpicks. Do you think they're going to sink or are they going to float? Let's try. They're floating. All right. So that is a fun little activity you can do at home because all it takes is water and whatever objects you have around the house that you don't mind getting wet. Okay. So I hope if you didn't get a chance to do that along with me today that you try that out another time. It's a fun little way to learn about mass and density and weight and all that stuff. Okay. All right, and it kind of ties in with our Imagine Your Story theme because there are a lot of fairy tales that have to do with water, right? The Little Mermaid, okay? The three billy goats had to go over a bridge so they wouldn't end up in the water. So that is our sink or float activity. Okay. Next, we are going to do a fairy potion. Okay. What you're going to need for your fairy potion is a small container, okay. a tray or bowl, okay, because it is going to get a little bit messy, not too bad, but Oh, I'm going to have a tray available to put underneath your small container. We're going to need some baking soda. Okay. Glitter. Food coloring. and our vinegar okay so what i'm going to do is first i am going to pour my glass about half i'm going to pour the vinegar about halfway in my glass okay. move that out of the way so you all can see okay. all right so just about half a glass of vinegar and then I'm going to add the color of my choice, okay? I'm going to add some yellow today. Yellow kind of sounds fun. I'm going to mix 
that in. So you can also use powder paint to color the vinegar as well. So it's got vinegar with food coloring in it. Okay. Finally, I'm going to add just a little squirt of dish soap. Okay. That kind of keeps things from kind of sticking in there. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to add some glitter. Okay. You can add however much glitter you want. We're going to make it nice and sparkly today. Okay. All right. Pour the rest of the glitter in there. So just a glass of vinegar with food coloring and glitter. Okay. Our final part is the magic of this experiment. Okay. I'm going to add baking soda to the vinegar. Okay. Now, has anybody ever experimented? with vinegar and baking soda before. Okay, it's one of my favorite reactions. Okay, and you're gonna kind of see a little bit what it looks like. Okay, all right, ready? Abracadabra. And I'm gonna stir it in. And we've got a nice sparkly colored potion. Okay. With a very fairy tale, princess, magic kind of vibe. Okay. And you can add except whatever colors you like. You can add other little twists to that, but that is our fairy potion. Okay. Hope you get a chance to try that at home as well. Okay. So there are so many fun things you can do with baking soda and vinegar. Okay. All right. Now our final science activity has to do with the story of Humpty Dumpty. Okay? Guys know the story of Humpty Dumpty? Humpty Dumpty? Okay? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Okay? But what if Humpty Dumpty did not have a shell to break? Then he wouldn't need to be put back together again, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to remove an eggshell. Okay. All right. Now I just have a regular old egg here. Okay. It's raw, not hard boiled or anything like that. Just an egg. Okay. And I have a glass container. Okay. This is one of the simplest experiments and one of the coolest that I think I have ever done. So, you're going to take your glass container, which you can use a jar, you can use just a plain old glass, okay? The only thing that you need to make sure is that your egg is completely covered by the vinegar, okay? I'm going to put it in there gently, okay? All right, so I've got my egg in the vinegar, okay? Now, all you're going to do is you're going to let this sit for about two, three days, okay? And the shell of the egg will dissolve, okay? It's actually a cool chemical reaction 
as you can see, there's little bubbles going on. Okay. The, sh the vinegar is dissolving the shawl in a chemical reaction. Okay. The ice shawl contains calcium carbonate, which interacts with the vinegar okay, to make carbon dioxide, which is the same thing that we breathe out when we take a breath. Okay. And this is what the final product is going to look like. Okay. It's almost like it's like a rubber egg. It has a little rubbery texture to it. You can kind of see the yolk a little bit. All right. So it's a really cool experiment, super easy. Okay. And a lot of fun. Try it home. Okay. All right. I hope you enjoyed these experiments. Let me know if you get a chance to try them out yourself. I'd love to know what you think. Okay. I greatly appreciate you tuning in today. Okay. We will have more science activities here on Facebook Live next Wednesday at 11. Okay. We also have a cool magic show tomorrow at 1130 that will be posted on Facebook. Okay. That will only be available for a limited time. So you're going to want to make sure you tune in to watch Baffling Bill do some magic tricks with his special guest, Gus the Bunny. Okay. So that will be on Facebook as well. The link will be posted in the Magic Show with Baffling Bill Facebook event. All right. Thanks again so much for tuning in. Hope everybody has an awesome day. Bye.